Good afternoon from another truly spectacular day here at the Walt Disney World Resort. It is still opening week. A little bit sad today because today is the last day of my little staycation here at the Walt Disney World Resort. We checked in on Monday, stayed at Wilderness Lodge, last night we stayed at Polynesian, and now we have made our way over here to Disney's Boardwalk Resort. You can see behind me actually the swan, and over here now is the boardwalk. Uh, we are here for our final night of our stay. Lots of exciting things going on here. Really neat to see how each resort is doing things a little bit differently. For the most part, it's the same, but a little bit different. But the main point of this video today, Boardwalk is right next to Disney's Hollywood Studios and Epcot. And I'm just curious, because there is a walkway between the two, I'm curious how close we can get to each of those theme parks. Uh, they don't open again until July 15th uh, for Epcot and Hollywood Studios. So I'm gonna be really curious to see how close we can get to that. While I'm walking between the two, we'll be walking through the boardwalk. I'll show you a little bit of uh, what's going on at the boardwalk as far as all of the new social distancing, uh, things like that, the different safety protocols and procedures we'll show you as well. Before I do that though, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification button. We are well past 500 subscribers now, and that is all thanks to you. I, I truly can't do it without you. It's just amazing. These past few videos, the subscribers have have just been going up and I, I just am so thankful for that so again please hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification button tell your friends our room is actually up here in this building where we look out that way and I found a stairwell all the way down at the end of the hall because our room is really far from the lobby and the stairwell actually brought us out right here to the body of water between Epcot and Hollywood Studios and it got me to thinking how close can we get to Hollywood Studios right now? Uh, it's a walkway. I'm gonna just walk until I can't walk anymore and just see how close we can get. Um, normally, you can walk from the boardwalk to Hollywood Studios in, depends on how fast you can walk, in about 10 minutes or so, I would say. Uh, if somebody's really fast, a little bit less than that. But it's a really nice walk. I, whenever I'm staying here or at the beach club, I, I always just walk to Hollywood Studios or walk to uh, Epcot. It's a nice exercise, very peaceful peaceful and you don't have to deal with those boats and all the people on the boats and waiting for the boat things like that so very very nice it's definitely quieter than normal though because nobody would be walking this way because Hollywood Studios is closed this bridge that we're about to go under this is Buena Vista Drive uh, it actually dead ends over by uh, Pop Century Resort not Pop Century all-star music and all-star sports and all those places uh, over in that direction that way but you have to walk under this bridge to get to Hollywood Studios. You can see on the sign right here, Hollywood Studios is straight ahead. I uh, have not come across a sign yet telling me to stop or not walk, so we're gonna keep going until I'm told otherwise. There is Hollywood Studios, and I'm surprised I'm able to go this far. I kind of wonder if there was actually a sign back beyond where my room was. Uh, but we're gonna keep going and see what's going on here. I don't know that I'm supposed to be here. So we're still getting closer. I have yet to see a sign. I can actually way off in the distance see the Hollywood sign, like the Miley Cyrus song. We've got the Tower of Terror right there. And you can see again the main entryway. I am shocked that I'm able to get this close, if I'm being totally honest with everybody. The farther I walk, I, the more I'm thinking that there really was meant to be a sign back there somewhere. I'm gonna go up to where the bus stops are and then I'll turn around. There were no signs, I'm telling you that right now. There was not one sign that I walked by that said this was off limits. Um, I just wanted to see how close I could get. And this is a whole heck of a lot closer than I thought I could get to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Yeah, I can tell you right now, I'm not supposed to be here. I'm gonna start heading back. I'm not sure why nobody has said anything but i'm pretty much at the bus stops at hollywood studios you can see off behind me in this direction i mean hollywood is right there the main entrance and nobody has said anything we're gonna walk back and see if there was a sign beyond where my room was that said you're not supposed to come this way um but again there were no signs that said i couldn't come up this far Pretty amazing that I was able to get this close to Hollywood Studios. I did not expect that at all. So consider yourselves lucky for getting in that close. Um, 
very quiet over here. I see a few security guards by the main entrance, and that's really about it. Nobody has stopped me. Nobody has said a word to me being over here, so I, I don't know. It's very strange. Give you a little zoomed in view. There are a few people walking over there. Security, maybe they're coming for me. I don't know. That's why I'm heading out now. But very, yeah, one, two, two security guards. Um, so I don't know. Why am I able to get this close? I, I really couldn't tell you. Should I have kept going, trying to get closer? Uh, let me know down in the comments. I don't know. I didn't know what to do. I started feeling like I wasn't supposed to be there. I guess we'll see in a couple minutes if there was a sign back beyond where I came out. Would you have kept going? I don't know. Uh, it was just, it was weird. I didn't know what to do. Uh, I was waiting for somebody to like pop out from the roof or something and tell me to stop, but there was nobody. Nobody coming. One final view of Hollywood Studios before July 15th's official reopening. And we are gonna head towards Epcot now, stopping at Boardwalk on the way. Now as I was walking, I saw this sign up here. I was wondering what this sign said, we'll go see. So this sidewalk is coming from the direction of Disney Springs, and if you turn around, it says stop, do not enter. But that's where I was just walking, down here. And there were no signs. So that makes me think I was not supposed to be down here. Uh, very strange. So that door right there is where I came out and I just walk straight down here to the sidewalk and in this direction. Again, there are no signs that say you're not supposed to be down here. I'm gonna see if there is one up here. Oh, there are no signs. So I didn't do anything wrong. Uh, I don't know why there weren't any signs, but that's really interesting. I uh, guess I could have gone a little closer, but again, I, I didn't feel right once we got there. We're heading up towards the boardwalk right now, walking by the pool. And uh, again, want to show you, there's not a whole lot open on the boardwalk, but on our way over to uh, Epcot, we'll show you what's going on at the boardwalk. Decent number of people here at this pool. The main pool over at the Yacht Club is actually closed, uh, and those guests are allowed to come over here and use the swimming pool here, so a little more crowded than you might normally see it. So we just came from that way. There's a walkway there. Uh, that's how you get to Hollywood Studios. Again, no signs. If you look this way, normally you can walk all the way around Crescent Lake, which is the lake that the boardwalk is on. This though is closed, and that's because the Swan and the Dolphin Resort are not reopening until, from what I heard, the very end of July. I've heard that they might be using these resorts as uh, for Major League Soccer. So we'll see if that's happening, but they at least have this blocked off. But there was nothing blocked about that walkway over there. Making our way out onto the boardwalk, we have the dance hall, Atlantic Dance Hall, that is closed. We have Jelly Rolls, the dueling piano bar. This is a lot of fun. We'll have to definitely get out here and check this place out, but they are not open right now either. Uh, you'll see as we get along the boardwalk that the games, they are not open. None of the snacks and margarita carts, anything like that are open. Um, we'll show you once we get up here. Big River Grill and Brewing Works, this is not owned by Disney. Uh, they are closed. Um, all their tables have been taken in. Hopefully we see them reopen. Uh, I haven't heard anything about them closing for good or, or anything. Their tables are still in there. These are the games that are normally open. By this point in the afternoon, they're normally open or at least opening. Uh, they are all closed. The gift shop down here uh, on the boardwalk, Thimbles and Things, that is, or sorry, Thimbles and Threads, that is open. Uh, the little gift shop inside the main lobby, we're not going to go into the main lobby, but that's closed. Um, so not a whole lot open. I'll show you down here the food options uh, in just a second. Here, of course, is the dock for the boat that you would take to Epcot and Hollywood. I'm not running right now for obvious reasons. Of course, the best food at the boardwalk, funnel cake, closed. Very sad. It says it opens at 6, so it's uh, 3.30 right now, so maybe it will open at 6, but I, I'm not so sure that it actually will. Flying fish, I ate here one time, very overrated, very overpriced, you hardly get any food, but that is closed. Most of the signature dining locations at the resorts that are open are still closed. The Ab Abracadabar, they are closed. Uh, Trattorio Al Forno, the Italian sit-down. They have a breakfast with characters, but that's not happening, but they do still serve breakfast uh, and dinner. That is open. 
Uh, pizza window over here is where, actually where I had lunch today. Very good pizza. They are open. Margaritas are not open. And then the Boardwalk Bakery where you can get your coffee and refillable mugs and snacks and pastries. They are open as well. And that's about it. ESPN Club is closed. Ample Hills Creamery is closed. So not a whole lot happening on the boardwalk. And you can just see, I mean, there's nobody here. It's empty. So when we first came onto the boardwalk, we came in right over here. That's the dance hall there. That's the dueling pianos. We walked around past the main hotel, past the Abracadab bar, past the bakery, ESPN club here. And then we turn in this direction and this is how you would walk to the beach club resort, the yacht club resort. But we are heading towards Epcot to see how close we can get to Epcot. It's kind of exciting to say I'm walking to Epcot. I haven't been able to say that in a long time. Yeah, it's closed, but hey, I'm walking to Epcot. Let's see how close we can get. I have a feeling we're not gonna be able to get quite as close as we did over at Hollywood Studios. I think that was a fluke. I wouldn't be shocked if there are signs there tomorrow because again, after I kind of left there, security was kind of eyeing me and trying to figure out what I was doing. And I think they maybe realized that they were supposed to have signs. I don't know. Very, very interesting, but cool to get that close. Absolutely, that was neat. And uh, hopefully we can get a little closer to Epcot too. Made it to the bridge between the beach club and the boardwalk. Straight ahead is the yacht club. And if I turn around, this is International Gateway into Epcot. And we can see right up here, Skyliner. This Skyliner line does not have any gondolas on it. Uh, but let's see how close we can get. Looks like not too far. I think they actually have a gate here, which they definitely did not have in Hollywood. You can see behind me the, the gate there. That's as close as we can get into uh, Epcot. Very nice security guard there talking to, um, talking about how they're still being trained on what's gonna be happening once they reopen. But again, definitely big gate you can see right behind me. Can't get any closer than this to International Gateway, but very nice to be close to Epcot. I didn't expect to be able to get any closer than that here. Hollywood was the big surprise. Definitely didn't expect to get that close to Hollywood. Just heading over to the Beach Club. I actually want to check on a cast member who worked in the gift shop. A fantastically nice man. I just want to see if he's there. He wasn't here the other day, but uh, you know, hopefully he's here because he's just amazing. But look at just, I mean, there is nobody here. This is insane. It's so surreal to be here at Walt Disney World and see no people. Um, the parks are closed, but this is pretty, pretty phenomenal stuff uh, for people who don't like the crowds. You can see here more signs. The Yacht Club is also currently closed, and I'm not sure that, I think they have announced when it's reopening, but it's not anytime soon, because rumor has it, and it may even be confirmed now, the NBA is gonna be staying at the Yacht Club Resort, as well as at Coronado Springs and a few other resorts. So they have this closed off, because there's no reason to be walking that way, uh, unless you're staying there and the resort's closed. Now it is unfortunate, because normally I like to do a walk around this lake here. Um, it's a really nice walk. Um, you can get in a couple miles going around a few times, but unfortunately now you have to stop here and turn around and head back towards Epcot and then around towards the boardwalk again. But, uh, you know, still nice to be able to walk around. Wish we could walk around the whole way, but not today, but that's okay. Just left the beach club, the snack bar slash gift shop. Unfortunately, Bill, my, my uh, old cast member friend, who I met in that shop a little while ago. He wasn't there. Uh, they don't know where he is, so I hope he's okay. Bill, if you're out there, I hope you're doing okay. Those of you that have been following me along from the beginning, you know that I've been on a little bit of a weight loss journey too, and if you've seen some of my videos back from the beginning, yeah, I don't even like to watch those videos anymore. Um, but even though I've lost a little bit of weight, I still have to enjoy myself. And let me tell you, right here at the Beach Club is the best dessert on Walt Disney World property. I'm gonna show you what it is in just a second, but let me tell you, it's the best thing you'll ever have. $5, let me show you what I got. So this little cup here of amazing goodness, this is an Oreo trifle. And I, I just wanna show you this here. I mean, look at the layers in here. You've got chocolate cake at the bottom. You've got uh, Oreo cream here, more chocolate cake, you've got more whipped cream here, more chocolate cake here, whipped cream on top, and then topped off with a whole Oreo uh, for $5. Let me tell you, it is the best thing you will ever put into your mouth. 
that's a guarantee. Uh, I, it's just, it's amazing. And it's kind of light. I'm sure it's awful for you, but because of all the cream, it kind of feels light. So, you know, it's just amazing. Can't wait to have this later uh, after dinner. I'm gonna take it back to the room and pop it in that fridge. And I think that's gonna do it this afternoon over here by International Gateway at Epcot. Fantastic time here checking out Hollywood Studios and Epcot and seeing just how close we can get. Pretty crazy stuff that I was able to get as close to Disney's Hollywood Studios as I was, given that it's closed and given everything else that's going on. Pretty, pretty incredible stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed that, as well as just checking out what's going on at the boardwalk. I am actually leaving tomorrow to head back to Maryland for a couple of weeks. Uh, this video will be dropping sometime next week actually and then i have another video for the week after that a tour of disney's vero beach resort which is a amazing place if you saw my video a couple weeks ago you know just how much i i love it and that video will be dropping as well in the coming a uh, couple of weeks and then we will be back just in time for the grand reopening of the walt disney world theme parks and we cannot wait for that it's going to be phenomenal so please again make sure you are subscribed Last check, 526 subscribers. Let's keep that number going. I never in a million years thought that we would be that that high, and now I'm just thinking how much higher can we go? So tell your friends, let's get that number even higher. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification button, and remember, it's an expedition out there, so never land. See you guys in the next video.